Greetings, Benjamin J from the Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, another delivery from eBay. This was an interesting find. This is a complete Lionel set with a Marks 999 locomotive. Found this on eBay for 14 bucks. It just arrived, so I thought I'd do the grand unboxing and see what kind of condition this is actually in. Now the prices have gone up on eBay, there's no doubt about that. And so it's more difficult to find a bargain. But if you look consistently, you can actually find some pretty decent stuff at a decent price. Ah, thank God, no peanuts. Genuine paper. Alright. So, it'll take me a minute to unwrap this, I think. So there's a car. Like I said, this is a complete Lionel set with a Marks 999 locomotive. 14 bucks. All right. Let's see what we have. Uh, where to start? Start at this end and work our way down, I guess. So we have. Oh, a broken caboose, it looks like. A flat car. Now these are all uh, steel trucks, all of them. It looked like it in the photos anyway. This is the locomotive, no doubt. Well, it's wrapped good. Thank God there was no peanuts. This is the tender. So, first things first, the uh, caboose, as you see, the rivet is missing. That's easy enough to repair. So, put that aside. Flat car, low side gondola, tender, hopper, and of course, this is the locomotive itself. So, a Marx 999 with a Lionel set. There's the 999. It actually looks to be in fairly decent condition. Motor turns right enough. Front truck, rear truck. It appears to be complete. All right, before we do anything else, as usual, I'm going to oil this. This thing has not been run in decades. That's obvious. All right. Go to the uh, armature bearing, saturate that uh, pad with some oil, let that soak in for a second. Go to the output shaft, one big drop of oil on the output shaft. All right, we'll put it on the outside rail. I cleaned the uh, layout and I... Uh, have the outside rail empty so I can test this locomotive. All right, so as you see, a Marks 999 and a complete Lionel set, five cars for 14 bucks. That's actually not too bad. So let's turn the power on. I have no idea if this is going to run. It's obvious things have been sitting for a very, very long time. So power is on, let's see what happens. Nothing. Ah. Forward. Nothing. And reverse. Wow. You can see how dirty the uh, brushes are by all that sparking. Let's take this around. Usually if you can get these things, there we go. If we get these things to run, 
it'll scrape the oxide off the uh, brushes in the armature and these things will take off. Headlight is out. E unit is sticking. Like I said, this thing has not been run in decades. It's been sitting someplace, very likely in a box. All right, so that's actually running fairly well, considering. All right, so let's uh, put this all together. There's the tinder. Wow, thing is really, really bit up. So, just a quick test here. All right, there's the tinder. I won't be able to put the caboose on because the uh, truck is off, obviously. All right. Focus the camera. All right, so slowly coming together. And a hopper. Wow. All right. Well, so far, so good. Everything is complete. Nothing's broken, it doesn't appear. That uh, truck is off, the rivet is out, but that's easy enough to fix. Anyway, so a Marks 999 and a complete Lionel set, 14 bucks, five cars, really difficult to beat that. So let's see what happens. Let's take this around and see how it runs. So obviously with some cleanup, this is gonna be a really, really decent set. 14 bucks on eBay. Really difficult to beat that. It's far from perfect, but it's running. All right. So, in any case, just want to do a grand unboxing on this. So the 999 itself is actually in fairly decent condition, as you can see. There's no real damage to it. It's dirty, but uh, it hasn't had a whole lot of play wear. As you can see, there's no missing paint even on the sharp edges except for right there. And that's probably where it sat in a box for who knows how long. But no damage to it at all. The cars themselves are actually in fairly decent shape. They're absolutely filthy. You can tell that just by looking at them. But a complete Lionel set. Now, one of these cars will sell for 10 bucks. The uh, locomotive by itself will sell for more than $14. Anyway, I have no idea why no one else bid on this. And uh, as far as the caboose goes, there's no damage to it. The rivet has come out. But uh, I can replace that in just a matter of a, a few seconds. I can either put a rivet back in it. Very likely, I'll just mount it with a screw for now. Get it back up and running. It's simple. Just pull the body off, put the truck back on, put the body back on, and it's up and running. So, in any case, I just want to do a grand unboxing. A Marks 999 Lionel, complete Lionel set, all five cars. The tender, low side gondola, flat car, hopper, and caboose. So, I'll uh, remount that truck with a rivet and... Uh, get this 999 cleaned up, lubricated, the headlight is out, and uh, get everything else straight, uh, straightened out and cleaned up, and uh, have a really decent Lionel set for $14 with a Marks 999 locomotive. It is really, really difficult to beat that. Uh, I considered myself actually rather fortunate to have found this. Anyway, why no one else bid on it, I have no idea. So, 14 bucks. The 999 itself is worth that much. One of these cars is worth 10 bucks. You see them on eBay for more than that. 10 bucks, 12 bucks. Anyway, a complete Lionel set. 
like I said, the only real repair I have to do is remounting that truck. So, like I said, I will very likely just put a screw in it for now. That'll get it up and running in just a matter of a minute or so. And uh, I'll pull the uh, 999 apart, get it lubricated, replace the headlight. The headlight might just be uh, loose. No idea. This thing has been sitting for decades. There's no doubt about that. You can see everything is covered with oxide. And it's far from perfect, but it was definitely worth the $14. The uh, trucks by themselves would sell for that much. And uh, trying to see, it looks like the light bulb is in there. So it's either loose or burned out. And, uh, of course, the only way to tell is to pull the motor out and see. But I'll get this uh, cleaned up. I'll do a follow-up video once I have the uh, truck remounted and uh, get everything cleaned up. Uh, but even so, you can see it was definitely worth the $14. There's no doubt about that. So I was really pleased to find this. And really surprised that uh, no one else bid on it. It uh, seemed really strange to me. But uh, like I said, if you're consistent and you look on eBay, you know, I'll, put, I'll go on eBay and put in 20 bids. And out of those 20, I will win one of them. Well, you figure if you put in 200 bids, you know, you've got a really good chance of getting some really decent equipment really, really cheap. So it just depends on how much time you want to spend doing this. I mean, the thing is far from perfect, but it is complete. A Mark or a uh, Lionel set, all five cars with a Mark's 999 locomotive for 14 bucks. It's really, really difficult to beat that. So I'll do a follow-up video. I'll get this truck remounted, get the uh, 999 lube tuned and replace that headlight if it needs it. The... Uh, uh, coupler on the uh, tinder is really bent, as you can see. But uh, overall condition is uh, really good. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just absolutely filthy. It needs oil. It's been sitting someplace for years, decades, in fact. Uh, these are all steel. This one appears to be plastic. These are steel, as you can see. So, no idea why no one else bid on this. But uh, for 14 bucks, I could not pass this up. I watched it for like five days. I was really amazed that I won it. But here it is, Lehigh Valley Hopper, flat car, Burlington low side gondola, the Lionel Tender, the uh, 6017 Caboose, and a Mark's 999 locomotive. 14 bucks. Really, really difficult to beat that. Anyway, I'll uh, get this sorted out, cleaned up a bit, lubricate it, and I'll do a follow-up video. But I uh, just wanted to do a grand unboxing. Always fun to get a, uh, a new locomotive, and in this case, the uh, complete Lionel set. So, a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always, thank you for watching.